Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and today I'm with Wayne Faree, who you've seen him before on my channel. He was a stone carver at the Washington National Cathedral. And a few months back, he was doing this stone carving. And then finally, I got to come up to his shop. And today, he's going to show us about his tools, the way they did it in the old days and the way they do it today. But also, he did a rabbit bench. And he started his own YouTube channel, so I want you to go and subscribe to him. And he's going to show you some of his carvings and anything new he does. He's going to uh, carve a gargoyle in the future, right? Mm -hmm. This is the real thing. The guy knows how to carve a gargoyle. He worked on cathedrals, right? So today we're just on my channel. Just going to he's going to show us the tools, and I'm going to show you what's going on in his other channels. He's got the the bench, right? You carved the rabbits out of the bench. Then he glued the bench together, and he used uh, steel pins and glues. And then he did the legs, and he did uh, showed you how to uh, rock face a stone. So here we go with, uh, he's going to show us about the tools. Hi, I'm Wayne Faree, and we're going to talk about tools today, stone carving tools, mostly chisels. Now there's a lot of tools that are used in stone carving saws and little saws and uh, different ways of breaking the stone which includes drilling and so on and so forth but today we're just going to talk about stone carving chisels now the beginner would start out with a set of tools like this which just have a regular end that's used with a hammer now these tools were purchased by me years ago through Sculpture House in New York City. And uh, you just simply use it like this. And I used those for years and then when I went to work for the National Cathedral uh, they had these air hammers. Air driven hammers are called pneumatic hammers. And they've got a piston inside that is run by air and that piston goes back and forth and the modern tools which actually aren't that modern they've been used for many decades they slip right in here and then the piston inside pounds them and so you're basically just holding this is your hammer and this is your tool and you're letting the air push the tool and you're just guiding the tool the traditional method you're using the hammer, which is very effective, but it's slower than this process, of course. Now, uh, you can use several different methods for pounding a traditional chisel. This is what the old timers used. It was a, just a wooden mallet, and they used it just like they would a hammer. Here's another tool that can be used. This is uh, used for stone as well. But I prefer a regular hammer. If you're doing detailed work, sometimes a smaller hammer is better because you're not hitting with so much force. If you're using, uh, trying to get some real detail with something, you don't want to have a lot of power behind your chisel because you're, you're trying to, to create something with finesse. And so we have a lot of specialty tools that are built for the air-driven hammer. And if you get a close-up look at those, there are different shapes that can be used to perform different tasks as far as getting shape, the shape you want. There's tools that are cupped, they're called gouges. different sizes and uh, then you've got your uh, your hooked tools for getting into tight places they could be bent they could be on a bevel they could be toothed and they could be for fine lines so that's basically it now when it comes to sharpening tools uh, you can use a grinder, but to put a to put a quick edge on a tool, you just run it on a stone, and you get a you get an edge. Even running your your tool across a stone a couple of times 
will sharpen it. It's very important to have a sharp tool when you're carving stone. Uh, so that's that's how uh, hand tools are motivated in this day and age with an air hand. Okay, we talked about stone tools. Basic tools, hammer and chisel, the traditional way, a lot of elbow grease involved. And then we talked about the modern way, which is with an air hammer, a pneumatic hammer. Goes into your hose like that. You've got a valve that controls the air pressure. And you've got a little hole here that you can slow the volume down when you're trying to do something delicate. Now, what we've done here is we've carved a duplicate carving of a carving that was done by a novice, from my son in this case, years ago. And we're going to make a mate to that, which could be used uh, as a decorative bookshelf art or placed into a wall, a masonry wall. We're going to use the tools that we talked about and show you how we use them. So if you want to learn more about that, go to my YouTube channel and check it out.